Hi, this is Kenny Lee, and let's do this problem where we have somebody belly flop onto a merry-go-round. So we've got a 200 kilogram merry-go-round that's two and a half meters in radius. A 40 kilogram student is running at eight meters per second tangent to the circle and jumps onto the merry-go-round. And we want to know the angular momentum of the merry-go-round student system after they jump on it and the angular velocity after they jump on it. So here's a problem where we got something running linearly, jumping on something to make it spin, and we've got to figure out what's going on. So we're going to start off with this. First of all, for angular momentum, there is this equation where angular momentum is equal to the linear momentum of the object cross the radius. So this is a cross product which means that these two work best when they're at 9 degrees to each other. So this is going to jump straight on. So he's running this way, tangent to the circle, and the radius is going to be perpendicular to that motion, so we're going to maximize this. So it ends up being momentum is just mass times velocity, and if it's at a right angle to each other, we're just going to multiply by the radius. If they did make an angle, so he came in like this at an angle, we'd actually use the sine of the angle between the velocity vector and the radius. But in this case, they're at right angles to each other, so we don't have to worry about it. It's nice and simple, so we can figure that out. So we've got a 40-kilogram student running at 8 meters per second. Since they're at right angles to each other, we can just multiply by the radius, which is 2.5. And we can get the angular momentum of our system right after because it's going to be equal to the momentum before he jumps on it. So 40 times 8 times 2.5 gives me 800 kilograms meters squared over seconds. Okay, so now we know the momentum of the system after the student jumps onto it. Let's figure out the angular speed of the merry-go-round now that he jumps on it. But to do that, we first need to figure out the moment of inertia of our system. So moment of inertia for the merry-go-round, that's a disk. And the equation for moment of inertia of a disk is one-half the mass of the disk times the radius squared. So that'll be one-half the mass is 200, radius is 2.5 squared. If we do that, 200 times 2.5 squared divided by 2, we get 625 kilogram meters squared for the disk, but we also have to include the person. And we're going to model the person as if they were a point mass. So moment of inertia of our person is just going to be mr squared. So the mass of the person is 40. They're landing 2.5 meters out from the center. So 2.5 squared. So 2.5 squared times 40 gives them a moment of inertia of... 250 kilogram meters squared. So the total moment of inertia of our system would just be those two added together. So 625 plus the 250. 625 plus 250. 875 kilogram meters squared. Well, now, since we know the moment of inertia, and we know the angular momentum, we can figure out the angular speed by doing this. Angular momentum is equal to the moment of inertia times the angular speed. So this is 800. Moment of inertia of our system is 875. And we have to figure out omega. So 800 divided by 875 gives me an angular velocity or angular speed of 
let's call it one radians per second. Now what if, instead of running tangent, the student ran straight at it? Well, if the student ran straight at this and instead of tangent and hit right here, it wouldn't cause the system to rotate. So nothing will be done between those two because that's a cross product we'll get this and so if it hit at an angle here's our radius poorly drawn if it hits like this we'll have to take that angle and we need to find the component that is tangent or perpendicular to that radius. And so that's why we use the sine, because it's going to be opposite of our angle. So if you come straight in, the angle would be zero degrees. Sine of zero is zero, so nothing is done. Sine of nine degrees, where it hits like that, is where it's optimized. But that's just the case he doesn't land tangent to the circle. Otherwise, it's just this right here. All right, thank you for watching and tune in again for more videos. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.